Hi guys and welcome back to another video. So today we're looking at some newly released photos from the Graceland set in the new Elvis movie. Let's dive in. So recently Vogue Australia released some gorgeous photos of actress Olivia de Jong posing at their Graceland. So she plays Priscilla Presley in the movie. Since seeing these, I thought, why don't we do a secret Graceland type video on what we can see in these rooms? And I have to reiterate that this is a set. It's not the real Graceland, though it looks incredibly close. This is all from love of Graceland and appreciation for the movie, though I will be pointing out some small differences between the real Graceland and the movie set. I'm purely just geeking out here. There is no hate from me. I am all about this movie and I cannot wait to see it. So the first photo that we're going to look at was shared on the Instagram account Elvis Movie 2022. Here is the exterior of Graceland built on a soundstage in Australia. I don't have any more information, like whether this was mid-construction or this is just what they had, maybe just to film a scene on the porch. Next up are a couple of photos shared online, but of the interior of the set. But before we look at those, let's take a look at Graceland in 1958. Here is the best photo from that time that captures the interior design and color taken in the living room. The walls are a baby blue color, and below Vernon's elbow, we can see just a bit into the music room where the carpet is a dark red throughout this whole space. Now let's look at the set. At first, these colors are a lot, but this is really how Graceland was decorated after the Presleys first moved in in 1957. There used to be a thing called a welcome wagon in the 1950s when a new family moved into the neighborhood. In the Memphis Press Scimitar, two ladies that visited Graceland to welcome them described Graceland like this. Quote, the living room has a red rug, blue walls, and white draperies, end quote. But I told you I was going to point things out that I find are a bit different from real life. We saw in that picture of Elvis and his parents, the entire walls were blue, including the trim. And even though the carpet was red in this space, the stairs looked a bit different. Just after Elvis's first Christmas in his new house, he invited a couple of beauty queens, Hannah Earl Melcher and Kathy Gabriel, to stay over at Graceland for a visit. I created a video all about them if you're interested, and here is the link. A photographer visited on the day of their arrival and took pictures of the three of them on the staircase. The carpet on the stairs is dark on the sides with a stripe of lighter color down the middle. Here's another photo from Elvis's birthday in 1958, where the stripe or carpet runner can be seen behind Elvis and polio survivor Mary Kozlowski. Now let's take a look at a more modern view taken by Vogue Australia. Olivia poses on the stairs of the same set redone to look like today. In 1974, Graceland was remodeled into what people call the red era, where the carpet was replaced with red shag and the new furniture was red. Even though Graceland resembled this look here prior to that remodel, the mirrors that line the walls were installed during the Red Era. So this picture is the Graceland of today, which is more of a mix of eras. The next one in the photo shoot was the first one I saw from Vogue and I had to do a triple take. This photo is stunning and I had to look really hard to see that it is not the real Graceland. In just this one photo, there's a lot of little giveaways. The stained glass peacock looks so similar, but is quite different. In this reimagined one, the red border around the peacock is a straight line, and the bird has so many tail feathers that come down to a point. Really quickly, let's refresh our memory on the real one. I wonder if the movie set didn't have permission to create an identical glass window, I'm not sure. While we're still looking at this photo, I want to point out the couch. This is what we see on the tour of the living room today. The couch has damask print upholstery with long, smooth seat and back cushions. But this isn't how Elvis had it during his lifetime. Let's check that out. In this photo from a shoot in March of 1965, the couch has a textured upholstery with distinct shapes as well as buttons in all of the cushions. He also had small square pillows on it. So it's interesting that the set couch is a mix with the couch of today, as well as, of course, the mirrored walls which were post-1974. But I can't even express how badly I want to hang out on this set. Another view of the living room set that made me look again. The couch, the side tables, hutch, and coffee table were recreated to look like Elvis's real furniture. 
but those two white chairs. They're identical to the ones that we see at Graceland today, which are not original. They're from the 1980s. There were two white armchairs in this room in the 1960s, but they were a totally different shape. The couch today has the same upholstery as those two armchairs, and it looks like that goes for the movie set as well. This next picture of the music room blew me away. Where do we even start? This is the music room of the 1950s. The red carpet like we talked about already, the iconic mirror that's been in the same spot since 1957. Maybe the set designers wanted the room to flow a little bit better, but this isn't quite how Elvis had it in 1957. The room did in fact have floral wallpaper with matching floral curtains. However, his style back then was more to cover the whole wall with curtains. The couch in this space didn't come until later. In fact, against the left wall was where the piano was. Here is Elvis and the gospel group the Sunshine Boys in the music room in August of 1957. See how the curtains wrap around the wall for the most part? The guys are crowded around the piano that's pushed against the wall that's underneath the mirror. The piano stayed in that spot until at least 1960. And see the light fixture? This one had eight bulbs with indentations on the bottom. I thought it was pretty incredible that the same fixture was recreated for the movie set. Luckily, we get another view from the back of the music room facing out into the living room. Seeing these two rooms in these colors and the furniture really takes you back to how Elvis saw his home back then and not just the black and white pictures. Those two gold chairs look similar to the white ones that would have been in the living room, but no seating like that was in this space. The walls where the stained glass peacocks would eventually be really looked like that back then. Here's another photo taken in August of 1957 with Elvis seated at the piano that's underneath the mirror. Behind him is that striped wall way before it was replaced with stained glass. Let's take another look at that set. I also thought the pumpkin lamp on the side table was interesting. This is one of the pair of pumpkin shaped lamps that were bought during the 1974 remodel and used in the music room. And one of them is still in there today. I know it sounds like I'm nitpicking, but really I'm having fun like this is a scavenger hunt. So we are still talking about the music room. Back to another image from Vogue Australia. Now the set has been brought a little further into the future, but this is still a mix of 1960s and present day. The gold couch was added to this space in the 1960s. Let's take a closer look at the real 1960s. Here's Elvis in that 1965 photo shoot. And there's a better view of the light fixture that was recreated for the set. This time the walls are covered entirely with curtains. And if you go to Graceland today, these same curtains are in the room. But back to the set photo, the windows here have regular white curtains. Notice the textured wallpaper. You'll see this all over if you tour Graceland. That was also something that was added during the 1974 remodel. I thought it was so cool that an artist recreated the painting of Priscilla that used to be in the home when the couple lived there, but not in the music room. In late December 1970, Elvis is posing with a rifle in the living room. The fireplace is just out of shot to the right. There's the original painting of Priscilla that inspired the one on the wall for the movie. The last photo from Vogue Australia is this spicy one from the dining room. Right away, this scene looks identical, but it is still a mix of the 1960s and 70s. In 1974, the mirrors were added to the walls and new red dining chairs replaced those dark velvet and gold ones. These chairs here do look high backed, more like the 1970s chairs. I thought it was interesting that they sat all 10 chairs around the table. Today, there are six chairs around the table and four kind of off to the sides. And that is it. Did you notice anything else in these photos? Let me know in the comments below. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram for rare photos and fun facts that don't make it into the videos. The links for those are in the description box below. And I'll also be sharing some of the photos I used in this video. As always, thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.